my name is Am, and this is Basu. We just want to say, hey, what's up? Hi. We are so glad you were hanging out with us today. Let's get started. Guys, Target has been keeping a secret from us. Ice chai tea latte you can make at home. Do you know that, babe? <laughs> so basically, all you gotta do is get milk. I like organic stuff, so I found this at Target. And I got whole milk. You can get whatever type of milk you want. One X. No, thank you. 1%, 2%, skim milk, anything that you like, get it. And then, this is the secret. This is what Target has been keeping from us. This. The Rishi Chai Masala Concentrate. I don't know if you can get anywhere else. This is where I found it. So Target, you let me down. You have been keeping the secret way too long for me. So basically, this is also organic. And I'm going to read you off the ingredients because why not? Filtered water, organic cane sugar, organic black tea, organic cinnamon, organic ginger root, organic cardamom, organic black pepper, organic molasses, organic lemon juice concentrate, and organic clove. That's all that's in there. Sounds healthy to me. So I don't trust that. So I'm just going to make a little cup because I am on a weight loss and get it back to my pre pregnancy time. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that up. So, hold on one second. <laughs> so, so, I like chai iced tea. Where are my ladies at? Where are my men at that like chai iced tea? All I, got, I already got a cup of cold ice. Why would ice be hot? Anyways. And all you have to do is do a one-to-one -one ratio. So one of the concentrate. Yay! You know, one of the milk of your choice. And pour it in a cup. And it should come out something like this. And all you gotta do is get a straw or a spoon, mix it up. Bang. So easy, so delicious. And so we're getting it. So that's all it was. Like, come on, Target. You got to announce that you have easy chai tea lattes. And you can make this colder iced according to the package. And I like it iced, so I keep. Obviously the milk in the fridge, but also the concentrate in the fridge. Doesn't really tell me not to put this in the fridge or not to leave it out. So either way, this is a great this is how I've been spending my morning this whole week. And it has been delicious. I'm seriously married to the sweetest man. Even though I said no, he still made me eggs because he knows me so well. So as I told you guys, I am on this weight loss slash get confident in yourself slash pre-pregnancy body mode this whole year and so eggs are like my to-go breakfast right now and um hard boiled eggs hit different you know so um hard boiled eggs salt pepper and some hot sauce my husband got me hooked on that so that is what i like for breakfast super Easy and simple and full of protein. So try it if you haven't and don't hate it if you haven't either. Okay guys, so in Pittsburgh, it's officially snowing and sticking. Um, before Christmas when we were here, we had a few flakes, but nothing was sticking. And now it's officially sticking and it's gonna look so beautiful. Um, I think there's like a winter storm coming in the like East Coast-ish area. And I'm super pumped because we get snow and we've been stuck in Hawaii for the last couple of years because my husband was stationed there. But now we are in Pittsburgh and it gets to snow and we get to experience all oh, four no. seasons. Something bad just happened. Let me go check this out. What just happened? 
He like slid into the I think he's, he was upset at her because she was stuffed. Shoot, people are sliding down the hill near our house. Well, we live on like a slope and it's obviously snowing and no plow trucks have came through yet. So people are like sliding. Um, it's dangerous because there's like cars parked on both sides. And especially if you don't have a four wheel drive, I think it's like icy and slick out there. So it's very easy to slide and run into like traffic that is going like this way. So it's super dangerous, but also entertaining to watch. But basically what we just saw was a black truck trying to come down and there was already a white van going very slow kind of parked because it was a female driver. I'm not saying because it was a female driver, but it was just the female driver and she was just going really slow. And I think the black truck like slid and, and hit the curb and he was upset because they were, she was like, he was like, why are you parked? You know? But obviously it's because she couldn't really move without being like, I might smack something. This is scary. This is dangerous. This is the first snowfall of winter. And obviously just be careful driving the snow, you know? But that's just what my husband was saying. Oh no, about. So Fazu is still currently taking a nap. So I think this is the perfect time to get some schoolwork done. So that's what I'm about to do. My planner done for next week about when is what do so right now I'm taking biology chemistry and medical terminology so I have it all dated and highlighted and the words that are highlighted like green yellow and blue are according to my well, my notebooks I got and um, it also has like fitness stuff in the bottom. So Mondays and Thursdays are leg days. Tuesdays and Fridays are arm days and Wednesdays are abs and core workouts. And then um, Saturdays and Sundays are just gonna be break days. But obviously every single day I am gonna be like studying, not just the day that something is due to do that. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to get organized so I can be on top of it because obviously I have a little baby at home and I'm taking three classes and two of them have labs. So I'm taking eight, nine, 10, 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 hours, I think, which is basically a full-time student also. So that is gonna be a very um, busy day in the life for me. <laughs> But I'm excited. I am pumped and I cannot wait to hopefully one day hit my goal of being a NICU nurse because I cannot wait to go in there um, and watch these little fragile bodies that were born too soon to grow up and thrive. And I'm so excited for that future. So I just want to get ahead of it to hopefully be able to reach that. But my goal was to get my prerequisites done this year so next year I can apply and hopefully get into a nursing program. And yeah, let's see if that works out. Guess who just woke up from his nap time? He just woke up from his sleep number one of the day. Say hi everyone, I just woke up. Everyone, I just woke up. Mwah. We are just currently watching my husband. Um, my parents gave him like a snow plower. It's gonna be the first time he's using it. So the ears inside stay warm about watching the husband, the sweet daddy of Vasu, um, take control of the weather outside. 
So let's see if he can make it to Best Buy, not Best Buy, Home Depot safely. Oh, you think Daddy will get back safe? Huh? Yeah. Um, also, guys, you might see Basio have something on his hand like this um, randomly throughout our videos. Basically, um, on his right hand, he tends to keep his thumb down. I have mentioned that before. Um, and his physical therapist thinks um, a little splint might be really helpful for him. So he knows it needs to be open and not closed. So I'm trying to train his body to do that. Um, he is still able to move his fingers around, which is great and fantastic. I try to just keep it on him when he's sleeping because usually that's when he doesn't need to like actively use his fingers, obviously. So I'm gonna take this off of him, but that's what this little yellow thing is going on about. the sweetest person ever and he's going to try his best with the power he has to clean whatever he can up for the neighbors and yeah so here he goes he's doing i guess the sidewalk right hi now. um i just wanted to take a step out here before the sun goes down it's about 4 30 sun's been going around like by in about an hour or so but the snow has finally stopped falling and i just want to take a step out here and just admire the snow because it's so beautiful so white so pure um i just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is out here Um, I hope you guys got to see that. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the road right here is all shoveled down for two cars, or one car to go down, two wheels or four wheels or whatever. But um, it's really cool. A bunch of teenagers and their parents came out here and they shoveled the road for us from our neighborhood. And that's just amazing. And that just shows how much um, community really matters, you know? Especially because the cars were slipping and sliding earlier this morning, so. It's super cool to just see that. Okay, so we are here to do an unboxing video. We got our very first box from Kiwi Co. I'm super excited. Um, Vasu's grandma was absolutely amazing and surprised him and us with a subscription to them. So we got our very first box. Basu is currently playing, so I'm gonna go grab him so we can unbox it with him and maybe get some reactions out of him. So I'm back, and guess who's with us? Baby Basu! Hey, hi, Baba! Um, so here is the box. Um, I opened up the box, but I don't know what's inside yet. So let's see. You excited, honey? Oh, it has a bunch of bubble wrap or whatever this wrapping stuff is called. More. More. Okay. Um, it has this. Let's discover for Vasu. And it says, Merry Christmas, baby Vasu. Merry Christmas. All right. So the very first thing that is in here is this. What is it, Baba? What is it? Um, it says, Panic Creep Plus. All right. Um, ooh. <laughs> And I think you might need a knife. Let's see if I can get this open without a knife. Is it gonna work, Bubba? No. I'm gonna get this right. One hand. The mama strength right here. Here we 
really what else do you want to fix? Okay, well, we're just gonna rip up boxes because Mama has one hand and we just gotta roll with that. Oh, so cool. This is really cool. I've seen these all over TikTok and it looks really cool. So I think he wants to go with this, or as I hope he will. It is, what is this called? It's called a double spinning drum. Oh, so it, it has colors on it. And I guess you spin it. So cool, do you like it on me? Let's see if I can get him to do it. I think like this whole purpose is for him to be able to spin it. I'm gonna get a big better angle for you guys. You can teach him to do this. Like maybe like when he's like sitting. So that's super cool. Um, I think this is just like a little bit about the toy. Oh, you can even, the baby can like even kick, kick, tummy time, and sitting. That is amazing. Okay, Bubba, you're coughing. You okay? Oh, and they can even like match me. This is so cool. Like, it'll like grow with him. That is so cool. What, buddy, what's going on, honey? What's going on? You're okay, you're just so excited that you're coughing. Okay. The next one is this. This is a wibble wobbler, wibble wobble shape stacker. Okay, gotta use my mom muscles to open this up again because I have one hand. Buddy, what, what's going on? What's going on? So, we're gonna open this one hand again. I'm just ripping up boxes because I don't have a knife right now. And I'm holding Wasu and I'm trying my best. So, this is how it's going. Let's see. Oh, cool, honey. So, it comes with another piece of paper. So, the toy is gonna look something like this. Um, stacking is so good for babies, so this is going to be good. There's like this, 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 and then finally this. So that's another box down. Um, I think Austin's not really ready to play with this one quite yet, but it's super cool, super cute. Um. It has like textures and stuff, so I think he'll really enjoy this too as he grows up. And it's like wobbly, and it's so cool. I um, his therapist actually said to get something like this, so I'm super glad that it came in this box. Um, these are just like all of the pieces, and then um, I guess kind of like how the baby is able to play with his toy. So like, yeah, <laughs> that dropped on the ground. So the last toy is a big one. Well, all the boxes are on the ground at this point. Um, This one, what is it, buddy? Let's discover. I'm not sure what this is, so let's just open it up. Let's just open it up, huh, honey? I think his favorite one right now is probably going to be the drum, the spinning drum thing. I think he's going to absolutely love that once he actually knows how to, like, use it. Oh, okay. So this is... Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this one. Okay, so it has all of this stuff. Um, 
a grow up guide. I think that's from mommy. <laughs> Soft rattle blocks, wood transfer discs, silicone teething ring, rainbow crinkle cloud, a bath book, and a knot ball. So let's see. Is this a knot ball? Do you like it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Wait, where is this from, Bubba? Super soft, too. I think he's gonna love it. And I think he can, like, actually get his fingers stuck in here. So I think he'll have a great time just trying to figure it out with texture and all of that. Such a great soft toy. I think he's gonna love that. This is like the wonder and play. Um, yeah, this is definitely for mama. And I think this is like, just like how to use all of these toys for him and stuff like that. Teething ring, Bubba, you love teething rings. Look at this. Where does this go? Can you grab it? Where does this go into your mouth? I don't know, I think he might be ready to go for a nap, but it's super colorful and super cute. Bless you. And I know us mamas love cute toys. Like you don't want junky toys around the house. So love it. Super cute, super colorful. Um, next one is transfer discs. I think this is just, just for him to like hold on to it and it's like both ways. So hopefully he'll be able to um, get really good fine motor skills with that. That's something we are working with with his therapist. It's a cloud and it crinkles and he loves crinkling noises. And it's so colorful and pretty. I think he's gonna absolutely love this as well. Um, and then this one is a bath book. So I think it basically just means that um, it can get wet. And for some reason, I feel like if this got wet, these pictures right here, will like actually like the apple would turn like red after I put him down or reorganize myself a little bit, let's check that out because if that's what happens, that is so cool. And then lastly, but definitely not least, we got some blocks right here. Um, all different colors. Where did Wasu go? Where did Wasu go? There he is. All different colors, shapes, this, oh wow, this one, I don't know if you have a reaction out of it. This one crinkles. This one is rattling. Um, this one's just kind of, oh, this one makes like a different, oh, they make different noises. This is amazing. And it's super cute as well. Um, yeah, I think this box is a success. All of the toys are super cute, and I think he's going to love exploring and playing with them. Yeah, I definitely recommend Kiki Co or this description box. My mom did a lot of research and I think she did absolutely amazing picking it out and I'm super grateful for her. And Vasu and me love you so much, Juma. We know you're watching. We love you and we are so thankful for you. And um, yeah, Vasu is going to love growing with these toys. What do you want to say to Grandma? I love you. I love you, Jima. Well, thank you for unboxing this with us. We're by the sink right now. Um, like I promised you, I wanted to put water in this book and see if it comes to color because I really think that's what it's about to do. So let's give it a try. Whoa, wait, hold up. I want to show you guys. So I'm going to put them down because... Okay, guys, so... I did the back of this book. I don't know if you saw that other video, but I wanted to give you a really cool view of this. So. Oh no, a lot of it got wet, but, oh, this is a good, okay. So I'm gonna just put water on it and it's going to change colors. And that is like super cool. And I feel like with super awesome.
Okay, so that's like really cool. Like it has color. I don't know if you guys remember me showing it to you in the earlier video, but that's super cool. Like the apple literally turned red. I don't know how that did it. That's like actual magic. Um, honestly, I feel like I, even when he's like a toddler and I'm capable of like giving him like one of his bigger brushes and water, he'll be able to like paint the pages and be like, maybe even like when he's even older and he needs to like paint in the lines, you know? That's awesome. Kikiko, shout out to you. You guys are brilliant making toys. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Hey guys, Vasu is getting a little cranky right now. So I'm about to make him a bottle and put him down for a nap. But before that, we just wanted to say thank you for hanging out with us today and unboxing and just looking at the snow. We just wanted to say we appreciate you all. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember to be brave like Wasu. See you next time.